Hello, welcome back. We want to talk about how programs developed. Okay, because we are learning how to write a program. So it's a little bit like uh, uh, you ask me how we learn to develop a program. Okay, uh, it's. A very interesting question because、uh, people may, if you ask people, a programmer, how you develop program, <laughs> or how you write a software, you may get a totally different answer. Okay. So in the very beginning, I, I'm, I'm, I would like to give you a very、uh, initial concept. Okay, a brief concept. Okay, let me. Let me choose the right pen. Okay, the program and develop. Okay. So the program, the program is a general term. Okay. Could mean a lot of things. It could be a software. It could be the original source code. Okay. So to answer this. Uh, who write this program? Okay, a person. Okay, normally we call a programmer. Okay, I'm a programmer. I'm a teacher, but I also a programmer. A programmer who write code, who do coding, who codes, right? Uh, we will. Use a tool. We'll use a tool or some tools、uh, to create a program. So normally we have a editor.、Uh, we use the editor to type to type our program to type the pure text. It's a bit like、uh, English, okay? The command, and then we will save it, save it as a file, okay? So the the line you write down on the editor and then save it is a、uh, the syntax or command or instructions、um, or script, okay? Whatever. You say it, but normally we write this kind of format. We call it a、uh, uh, source code. Okay, different language have its own different syntax, but it、uh, look like a programming、uh, English. Okay, the more the more look like the English, it's a more.、Uh, Easy to understand for the human. We call this kind of programming language very, very high level. Okay. Okay. Once you save your source code or a lot of source codes, okay, because、uh, you may write、uh, very complicated software. You have a different source code, okay, as a module. Okay, and sometimes your coding. You need to、uh, kind of use other well-established. We call a library or API. Those are some people,、uh, experienced developer or in the、uh, working in a different country,、um, internationally. The society they open their API. You can directly use it. You may call its function, okay. And then, anyhow,、uh, we write the、uh, English-like、uh, source code、uh, and save it into a, a file. And this kind of file need to be need to be kind of translate, okay. Translate. Okay, sorry. Trans, T I A N S. Yes. Translate so that 
the code will become we call the machine code, uh, which mainly zero one zero one uh, represented by binary. Okay, represented by binary. Only your CPU, your hardware CPU, can understand it. Okay, can understand it. And this kind of translator uh, depends on the different level, uh, the level of the language we uh, use. There are two types. Uh, the one we call the interpreter. Another we call the compiler. Okay, to do this job to translate it. Okay, so. Here it is the way the how programs develop, okay, and of course, uh, in the process, how do you know how to write a command, how to write it? Okay, that's a feel of how you study. Uh, you study a uh, new language. You need to learn the syntax, okay, the keywords, the reserve word, how to how to write the comments, how to do comparisons, how to uh, uh, define the function, how to do some looping, repetitive works, okay? How to declare variable even. So that's about the programming language syntax. But now, uh, uh, here you have a brief idea. A uh, programmer who write a code not from out of things, thin air, right? Not from the thin air. We need a tool. Well, we need uh, some application editor, compiler, and interpreter, or the programming environment. We we even need uh, some other people support because uh, we reuse the well-established stable function so that we can build upon our our program. Okay. So that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.